Hello everyone, it's Commander Radek, and I'm going to do a video here on uh, how you can make PowerPlay work for you. So, uh, important to note here up front that this isn't a video on how you can best help your PowerPlay power. This is uh, a video on how you can best get your PowerPlay power to help you. So, uh, you can see right now I'm, I'm uh, pledged to Aisling Duvall. I'm rank 5 and I've got around 7,500 merits. You, you don't have to be rank 5 for this to work for you. Uh, you can really be any rank and still make money. I, I recommend rank 5 and the investment that goes along with that um, because it, it really is worth it uh, in the grand scheme of things. But otherwise, um, you know, it's still okay that if, you know, if, if you're only hitting 1,500 merits a week, that's still 5 million. Uh, 750 merits is, is half a million, of course. Uh, and and a hundred merits, even you know, rank two even at fifty thousand credits for a newer player really isn't that bad of a deal. But you know, rank three is something that anyone really in a I would think in a T seven could probably hit uh, with without too much involvement. Uh, nice thing about merits is, is that they they recharge uh, off a timer and you get a certain amount for free. So, you know, there's there's definitely an advantage. You know, you don't get anything when you're rank one. You just, you know, you, you just get your 10 every half hour. But, you know, if you, you could even work through 10 at every half hour for free. And uh, you're going to unlock um, at 100 merits, right? So in in basically five hours of, of time that you were available to um, get your commodity allocation, uh, you're you're able to get your free merits. And if you look at merits kind of like credits, uh, they're worth about 10,000 uh, uh, 10, credits per merit. So uh, you're really, you're getting 10,000 credits free every half hour. Um, and, and to that effect, if, if you wanted, if you have money and you wanted to rank all the way up to rank five really fast, 10,000 merits, right? So you need 100 million credits to do that. Uh, probably less, right? You're going to get some for free every half hour, but essentially that's how you rank up if you look at merits like credit, okay? So for the sake of this conversation here, we're just going to focus on uh, the preparation side of merits. Uh, the system, we're just going to jump out to our preparation merits. You can get them just through your contact here. Here's your power contact. You just pick up 50 merits. Because I'm rank five again, you 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 start out, you're only rank one, uh, and you get your ten, and then we're we're going to jump on out to uh, uh, where I can best get the commodity that matches here. So in Lusananga, because this is a, a princess exploited system, the high value metals, high value commodities sell for the highest here than any other system, uh, barring probably community goals or something. But really, this is your your best option. So you find Aisling systems where you can sell to. And see, we're going to sell Palladium here for 15,774 credit. And where we're going to buy it from, it's going to give us a yield of around 3,100 credits per ton. So we don't have to worry about having a full load out there. We only have 100 to 452. It's really not a big deal at all. Um, in fact, you can do this with just 50 because we want to get out there as fast as possible. And then once we get out there, we're going to buy our commodity of choice. It's going to make us the most money. And then we're going to jump back. So, you know, a couple quick comments here about the way that I trade. Uh, I don't trade slaves. Uh, I've mentioned this before in videos that uh, I find it a, a morally repugnant activity. Uh, I recognize that some people are okay with role playing as a slave trader, uh, which is exactly you do realize what you're doing if you you trade slaves, but you really. You know, you don't really believe in human trafficking, then you're simply role-playing a human trafficker in a video game. Whether or not you want to uh, come to terms with that or not. Um, and I realize that uh, others have laughed and said, well, what do you mean? How can you have morals in a video game? Uh, to those, I, I point out how odd it is that they are so quickly willing to set aside their morals for uh, gain in something as simple and silly as a video game. Uh, you don't need to do it. It's not a required activity. I made it to Elite. I have over a billion in assets. 
uh, without trading slaves. So, you know, um, the other comments I've seen is, you know, what about, you know, murdering people? Why is that okay? Uh, well, I, I don't go forth and murder people in this game either, uh, indiscriminately. It doesn't mean I don't kill people, but there's, you know, this is a space combat simulator where there's a lot of war going on. So that's kind of comes to be expected and not something that you can actually avoid. Uh, you can avoid slave trading. So, uh, again, that's a personal choice. And, and I understand why others don't. How they just see it as a game, and so you're just role-playing a, a way to make money as best you can and fast as possible. And, and that's fine. That's how you choose to play the game. More power to you. Uh, this is how I choose to play the game. So, um, with that said, some folks have asked me, well, Radek, you know, how, how do you find your trade routes to begin with? You're a new player. How do you, how do you find places to trade? Um, what I encourage new players to do is to begin by following the bulletin board system. And, and when you're following that system, pay careful attention to the systems you're in, the economies, and, and what's buying and selling for what. Uh, generally, those bulletin boards will lead you to positive trade routes. And then when you get to somewhere around about a T7, you can run the route that I'm giving you right here. This is a route that anyone with a T7 or greater can run. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if you're not in a T7, then chances are your best bet is going to be to run just short hop stuff. Um, stuff in you know your... Your smaller vessels, you're going to get into an ASP or something, maybe do some rare trading until you can get to that T7 point. And I realize that a T7 is, you know, you're, you're into the millions of credit zone, and, uh, and, you know, that sounds like a lot for a brand new player. Uh, but recognize that even once you've been playing this game for a while, uh, sometimes it's still a lot to kind of take the next step, which is um, why I'm kind of like putting this video together. This... The way I look at this is that the game sometimes doesn't give the best direction when it comes to how you progress, and this is sort of kind of the next way of progression. Uh, I've committed to Aisling Duval, for example, here, because at rank 5, Aisling gives a 100% reputation bonus uh, when doing quest turn-ins from bulletin board missions. I'd like to be able to get an Imperial Cutter, which you need the rank of Duke and Empire to do. So, I'm leveraging Aisling Duval's ability, which is a 100% increase to reputation gains when you're uh, using those uh, bulletin board quests uh, in systems that she exploits and controls. I'm using that to my advantage, and I'm, you know, getting 50 million credits a week uh, in the process, which, you know, really isn't too much to complain about either. So... You know, again, this is how you can make a, a power play power work for you, uh, and you don't have to work for it. Um, you know, also recognize, now, now this system that I'm showing you here, the Shanghai Orbital out at HIP 31666, uh, this is an independent system. No one controls it yet. Uh, and in fact, the activity that we're doing right now, bringing these medias out to the system, could in fact at some point result in the princess uh, gaining control of the system. Um, that's actually something we wouldn't want to have happen because that would hurt our profits. Uh, but it would, it would have to be a lot of merits for that to occur. And uh, when I first... Uh, you know, started this video, um, I was the only one really running the route and running it with merits. So, you know, I, I'm not expecting it to uh, be too big of an impact. But if it is, uh, then we'll have to uh, see what we can do with that. But for now, uh, since it's not, as you can see, we're going to run out of here. We're going to drop the merits. We're going to pick up some palladium. We're going to run it back. Um, so again, looking at, at power play, we're using her uh, ability gift at rank 5 to our advantage. Now, if you don't run this route, if you're looking for something on your own, uh, Zamina Turval 
which is another empire, is uh, a good system choice to kind of peruse through, if you will, if you're looking for uh, uh, routes on your own. Because she offers a discount um, in mining. It's like 10% discount on you know everything with mining, I think. Uh, or mineable materials. So, you know, you can... Cops, always buzzing you really fast. You can make a, uh, a, a decent yield if you buy uh, the metals from those systems. And for a while, that's what I was doing. So I was jumping between her system and this system. Uh, but I found this one uh, the other day. And so, you know, obviously, uh, it's a better choice. Big deal is I don't have to go into a... A potential hostile or enemy system and and deal with that and every time you're in these power play systems anyway there's always uh, other ships from different powers and you know it's one more thing that you have to deal with where it comes to interdictions so all right well let's go ahead and uh, drop these merits off so now that we're at the orbital we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump in the contacts, go to power contacts here, and uh, we're going to drop off uh, a good hundred of uh, the culture shock. There we go. And that's good. We're up to 7,600 for the week. Now I've got to make sure that I get to uh, my, my, my 10,000. Uh, again, I, I understand if you don't have 100 million credits to invest and uh, by the way, here's Palladium 12612. I understand if you don't have 100 million credits to invest and you, you can't jump off from power play like I did. I highly encourage you to do it if you do because you will make back that money in just a matter of a, a couple of weeks, okay? So the first week you're rank five, you don't get your, you don't get your bonus. You don't get your salary. You get, you get your salary at the end of the week. Um, not at the beginning of the week. Uh, and then, so while that's on the front end, can be a little bit of the uh, frustrating kind. Uh, on the back end, it ends up meaning that as you're offboarding from the power, you can make money. So, you know, uh, it takes about two weeks, right? Because you're going to invest $100 million. And then in two weeks, if you can get your free 50 merits every 30 minutes, uh, which essentially just means can you be logged in every 30 minutes and and walk by and uh, and uh, press you know the uh, button on your computer to get your merits. If you can do that, then in a course of two weeks, you're going to make off all the money that you invested, the 100 million. Uh, plus, like I mentioned, when you offboard, so make sure you don't just leave the power, just you, when you stop doing your merits and so you rank back down, the first week you rank back down, uh, you're going to end up with uh, 50 million plus around 5,000 merits. So then the second week that you go down, you're again, you make 5 million. Third week you go down again. You're making another five million. I think by the fourth week it starts to taper off. But all in all, as you offboard, you're going to make between thirty and forty million. As you offboard, or I, I apologize, uh, you're going to make between uh, uh, sixty and seventy million as you offboard. So uh, again, don't just leave the power when you're done doing power play. You offboard slowly. Take your seventy million. And so really, if you if you look at it. Uh, from a, a mathematical standpoint, you essentially could even do power play for one week. And as long as you uh, maintained it for that one week, uh, you're going to be okay and you're going to make your money back. So, all right, we're being interdicted. So let's see what we got to play with here. Oh, it's a Diamondback Scout. Uh, I'm really looking forward to when they, they maybe get interdictions in a place where I'm not constantly picking on these ships. But in the meantime... I'll, uh, I'll have my fun with it. So, I've outfitted uh, my ship here with multi-cannons, uh, cannons, and uh, uh, beam lasers. The, the multi-cannons uh, are, are on turrets, so I don't have to uh, worry about aiming those. And the large lasers are also on turrets, so it allows me to, to turn my ship easier. 
and still uh, maintain damage uh, on smaller ships. Temperature has become a bigger issue uh, with the release of Horizons and so uh, definitely if you're not already I would encourage you to use heat sinks. Um, nice thing about it is though is that heat sinks are kind of like a you know a, a double benefit. They they both act as a, a way to drop your heat and then they also uh, can help with breaking of uh, target locks. So not quite as good as chaffs but uh, you know every little bit can help sometimes. So so there you kind of see why I uh, prefer to outfit my Anaconda with guns uh, instead of outfitting her for trading uh, purely from a jump capacity range. And I recognize that, that there is a uh, very good line of thinking that says as a trader you should just run and um, you know, not worry about you know, shooting people. You're, you're better off from a money making standpoint to just run. I got tired of running. And honestly, there's enough times when you run that you still end up uh, getting killed. That you know, when you're when you're trading big money here, so when you you start putting things into a T9 or into a uh, Anaconda, even a T7. I mean, when when you when you die, you lose so much money that. The amount of jumps that it would take to get that money back uh, is is in excess. And if you think about those jumps in a matter of time, the amount of time that you lose is in excess to the amount of time that you're losing because you're taking one extra jump. So, you know, consider that when you're trading. That while it, it's very appetizing, sort of like a red herring, if you will, to look at a route and say, wow, this is only a two-jump route. Uh, if that could be a three jump route, but you can arm your freighter so that every little diamondback and cobra and viper and whatever else that happens to interdict you uh, isn't something that you have to be worried about, that you can just instead blow up instead of running away from, I encourage you to do it. Uh, first off, it's, it's a lot more fun to blow these guys up than it is to run from them. And uh, I think it's a lot safer. Uh, since I've switched to this style, uh, I haven't had as many issues. And even when you run into situations where, you know, you know sometimes you'll get interdicted and, you know, you're in a wing situation, uh, it makes it easier to run if you, you know, if you start off by blowing somebody up. Uh, do keep in mind, of course, the changes uh, with Horizons and the way that power works, that if you... Uh, do modulate your power so that when you have hard points deployed, uh, you uh, turn your frame shift drive off. Uh, remember, it takes about 10 seconds for that frame shift drive to come back online. So consider that if you're, you know, if you're going to change the outfitting of your ship. So uh, Horizons really uh, changed a lot with the game. If you've watched my old videos, you'll you'll notice that uh, those routes, for the most part, have have dried up. Uh, they definitely changed the economy. I don't know if they've changed how the economy works. Uh, I, I think that remains to be seen and tested, but certainly with adding of the planets, uh, it's expanded the options. I, you would think logically that, that at some point the best trade routes are going to come from a planet to, to a space station or a you know, space station to planet route. Um, I, yet have, I have not yet found one uh, that, is, that is that great. So uh, I'm, I'm sticking with this for now, at least from a money-making standpoint. Although, really, the focus of my game right now is not on making money. I'm more focused, and again, why I'm pledged to Aisling Duvall, I'm more focused on gaining reputation with the Empire so that I can end up buying a uh, Imperial Cutter. Um, so uh, I've got a little ways to go, um, as you can see here. Uh, I'm a Viscount, and... So I've got to get through, uh, I think, three more ranks in order to get to Duke. So it's going to take me a little bit of time, uh, but it does give me something to do. And, you know, again, the nice thing about Old Aisling in rank 5 is uh, you, you, you can't really complain about uh, 50 million, you know, really what amounts to free credits a week. So, you know, don't... When you look at power play... Um, Consider strongly that 
by kind of doing some things just a little bit differently how maybe you would uh, treat other games, uh, you can really give yourself a big advantage. So again, simply, you know, if, if you have the ability to just be kind of logged in while you're uh, doing things away from your controls, uh, you know, every 30 minutes you're able to pick up uh, really what amounts to, um, you know, 10,000 times the amount of merits uh, that you can get. So, you know, again, when you're rank five, this is why I encourage you to do the 100 million credit investment. At rank five, that ends up being 500,000 credits every 30 minutes or a million credits an hour for, for doing nothing except sitting in your space station. Uh, and, and as I've shown you out here, that doing nothing can be an activity where you can sit in this space station here, do nothing but gather merits, jump out a couple of jumps. So, you know, if you've got a big ship like mine, you could sit here for two and a half, three hours, uh, fill up with uh, 450 merits, jump those 450 merits on out to uh, that, um, you know, out to hip 31666, and then um, pick up cargo and jump it back. You know, you're talking about 20 minutes of activity to be done every, what, three hours. So, so every three hours you play for 20 minutes, and then that gets you 450 merits. You basically are going to need to be able to do 5,000 merits a week. So if you can do that jump 11, 12 times, so if you can find 11, 12 periods of time when you can play for 20 minutes, actually sit down and play, but building up to that point, you're gathering your merits, then you're going to walk away with not only the 50 million a week that uh, I've showed you you get through power play, but also, uh, you know, again, talking 14 jumps, so 14 times 1.4, so 14, so additional 14 million. So you're, you're really looking at uh, 64, 70 million plus a week that you should be able to make if you follow uh, what I've advised here in this video. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope this works out for you. I uh, hope to see you out here. If you've got any questions, feel free to look me up in game. Feel free to add me as a friend. I'm always willing to chat with folks. Uh, I apologize if I don't immediately reply. It, I happen to AFK uh, a lot. Uh, and I don't do a lot of uh, uh, voice chat in game. So, uh, but I'm, I'm glad to text chat with anyone. So, Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, safe, uh, safe travels out there, commanders.